Hi, I'm Larry Janeski from Dr. Energy Saver. Today we're at this house where we're doing a lot of great things to make it more energy efficient and more comfortable. And one of the things that we're going to be doing is changing some lighting. So if I take this bulb out, it's an incandescent flood bulb that's 65 watts, and I put in this bulb, which is an LED bulb at 7.2 watts, I can make a big difference in how much energy this home uses. That's beautiful light, LEDs, modern LEDs are, have a, what we call a color temperature uh, that is very acceptable. The color temperature, the lower the better. Um, warm white is considered about 2700K or Kelvin. Uh, we don't want over 3000 Kelvin. If we get into the 3500 to 4000 or 5000 Kelvin, you got a really, at 5000 Kelvin color temperature, you've got a really bluey white light. It looks commercial, you're not going to be happy with it. But with modern LED lighting, all that is over with. Uh, you buy the right lamps, and Dr. Energy Saver has these available for you. And you get beautiful light, it's warm white, your colors look good, you look good under it, <laughs> and you save energy. But let's take a look. Now this, this bulb was not on for very long, because if it was, I wouldn't be able to touch it. And the reason is that it creates a lot of heat. And incandescent bulbs use as much as 90% of their energy in creating waste heat that we don't even want. We want the light, not the heat. LED bulbs burn much cooler, maybe 130 degrees compared to 380 degrees this bulb would be uh, once it gets warmed up. Now, if uh, you have the air conditioning on in the summer, you have uh, burning electricity to run your air conditioning to take heat away from the house, and then you have all these little heaters all over the place. Wherever there's a light bulb, there's a 380 degree heater adding heat to the house. You don't want that. It's electric heat, it's inefficient. It costs you more to get heat off of a light bulb than it does just to run your furnace that little extra uh, more. We look at a, a house like this, and we look at all the can lights in the ceiling. I mean, look here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. Over 40 lights just in this main area, not including bedrooms, the basement, uh, second floor rooms, okay? Over 40 can lights. Let's take a look at the economics of changing all these lights. At Dr. Energy Saver, we use LED lighting. Uh, CFL lighting is also very good and very efficient, but LED lighting is even more efficient. The bulbs will last even longer, and they go full on right away, where CFL lighting comes on about 60% and then takes a, a minute or two to warm up, especially if it's cold. Now, in this house, let's uh, just talk about the efficiencies here. When we say efficiencies, well, we mean this burns 65 watts uh, every hour, so that would be uh, 65 watt hours where we could replace this with an LED bulb like this, and this bulb will burn 7.2 watts per hour. So we're saving uh, approximately 58 watts per hour. There's other types of bulbs too, bulbs like this, and this, and this, and even little MR16 style bulbs like this. These are all LEDs. These little yellow chips, light emitting diodes that are uh, on here, they're not yellow when this bulb lights up. When this lights up, they are bright and emit the light. And it looks a little strange. We're not used to this kind of thing, but it doesn't look strange when it's lit up. It looks fantastic. It looks very high tech and the light is very natural and uh, you'll be very happy with these. Let's take a look here though. Uh, this is how the numbers work, okay? If we had 65 watts here, okay? We're talking about changing this bulb with this one, okay? 65 watts minus 7 watts, that's what this bulb is, we're saving 58 watts, okay? Now, it, let's say we burn these bulbs an average of 4 hours a day, okay? That's uh, 350, uh, I'm sorry, times 350 days a year. So it's 365 days in a year, let's say you go on vacation for a couple of weeks, 350 days a year. Um, that equals... 81,200 
uh, watt hours. Now if we divide that by 1000, we get kilowatt hours. So it's obviously 81.2 kilowatt hours. And that's what our um, electric company bills us in, kilowatt hours. Well, how much do they charge us? Well, here in our area, it varies throughout the country, but here in our area, they charge us 18 cents a kilowatt hour. Okay, so uh, 81.2 times 18 cents equals $14.61 per year that we would save by, by using this bulb, this LED bulb, instead of this old incandescent bulb, which has pretty much not changed since Thomas Edison invented it over 100 years ago. And we don't have all the excess heat either that uh, the incandescent bulb puts out so that we don't have to get rid of that heat with our air conditioning. And uh, we also know that this bulb will last 20 times as long as this bulb. This bulb will only last 600 to 1,000, uh, up to 2,000 hours where this bulb will last about 20 times longer than that. So consider all the cost of replacing this bulb 20 times where this one would just stay lit for all that time and you wouldn't have to replace it. And all the aggravation of buying bulbs and getting the ladder out and changing the bulbs. So if we upgrade for every one of the bulbs we upgrade from here to here, if we're upgrading bulbs that we use four hours per day on average, we're saving $14.61 per year. Wow, that is a great payback. You'll get your money back in oh, a year and a half or two years or something like that on this. Even if it was two and a half years on some of the bulbs, boy, that's a great investment. Where can you make an investment and get your money back in two and a half years? You double your money in five years, triple your money in, in uh, seven and a half years. That is just a, a, a wonderful investment and something that um, everyone should do. Now, let's take a look at uh, what does it cost? We walk through this house, we see 40 of these bulbs in the common areas. What does that cost per hour? Let's say we have some friends over, we turn the lights on, we have 40 lights just in the common area, not including any of the bedrooms or the finished basement or the, uh, anywhere else, the bathrooms or anything like that, just this common area. So we have 40 bulbs times 65 watts. So I'm gonna do the math for you right here. And we have 40 times 65 is 2,600, okay? Uh, and then we divide that by 1,000 to get kilowatt hours. So we have 2,600 watt hours, obviously divided by 1,000 to get kilowatt hours is 2.6. And then we multiply it times, in, in our area, 18 cents. So times 0.18 equals 46.8 cents an hour, okay? per hour to run those 40 bulbs. Now, let's take a look at if we burn these bulbs instead, these LEDs, what it's gonna cost us. We have 40 bulbs times 7.2, let's be exact, 7.2 watts. So we got uh, 40 times 7.2 is 288, uh, divided by 1,000 is obviously 0.28. 0.28 um, kilowatt hours times 18 cents times 0.18 is 5 cents per hour. So to run 40 of these, 46.8 cents an hour. 40 of these, 5 cents an hour. I'd say that's a big win. And you know, over the days, the days go by, the weeks go by, the months go by, the years go by, you're saving money, your electric bill is lower because you made a wise decision. Outdoor fixtures are often left on all night or for long periods of time. And these bulbs are 40 watts. These ones that we're replacing them with, LEDs, are three and a half watts. So that's 36 and a half watts that we're gonna be saving times a lot of hours. The homeowner tells us they like to leave these bulbs on a lot. There's two of them in each fixture. You might not think 40 watts, that's not too much, but these things get hot enough to melt the plastic around their bases. Uh, this is the fifth fixture I've changed these bulbs in here, and all of them had melted plastic on the fixtures. If you somebody came to the door, you want to flick the light on, see who's there, 
CFLs take a while to, you know, warm up, they, especially when it's very cold out, when it's winter, they're dim when they start up and it takes a couple minutes to come full bright. Uh, so that's the benefit. The newest technology, LEDs, full bright right away, ideal for outdoor situations. So here we have six MR16s and we have two of them are blown out. <laughs> that's halogen bulbs for you. And six uh, PAR30 uh, can lights in, in just this section. So 12 light bulbs. So 50 watts each here times six is uh, uh, 300 watts. And 65 watts times six is uh, 390 watts. That equals 540 watts. If you had all these lights on in this room for one hour, 540 watts, uh, that's just over uh, half of a kilowatt hour. And in our area, 18 cents a kilowatt hour, it's basically 10 cents an hour to have these lights on in this room. Now, when we change them over to LEDs, we'd have six three watt bulbs. We haven't changed them all yet. Six three watt bulbs and six seven watt bulbs, which is 60 watts total for this, for 12 light bulbs, 60 watts total. And it's gonna cost you about a penny an hour. So before it was 10 cents an hour, after LEDs, a penny an hour. Now these little bulbs here are called MR16. They're this style. They have two pins on the end. They are 50 watts and they produce a lot of heat. These bulbs get really hot. But this is the replacement. It's an LED bulb. Guess how many watts? 50 watts, three watts. Now that's living, baby. These bulbs are super hot. We've just had them on for a few minutes. The heat bakes the paint on the fixture and uh, it starts peeling off. They get so hot. This is not gonna help your air conditioning load in the summertime at all. And certainly burns a lot more electricity than it needs to. So here's 50 watts, ton of heat. Here's three watts, hardly any heat at all. 50 watts, three watts, amazing. Making your home more energy efficient is the right thing to do. And it's a smart thing to do because the repairs that Dr. Energy Saver performs always pay for themselves over time in the savings on your electric and fuel bills. And you'll enjoy a more comfortable home in the process. But how do you know which repairs need to be done in your home? It's simple. Call Dr. Energy Saver. We'll do a complete evaluation on your home and tell you what repairs are most important for you.